Okay, so this is a reasonable diagnosis to be aware for USMLE. I'll just quickly jump through this question here. Before we get started, I will be a typical asshole and tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me start the actual question. So 74-year-old man, he has a one-week history of pain and erythematous skin changes of the left foot. He has a background of alcoholic liver disease, type 2 diabetes, mellitus, COPD, 50-pack year history of smoking. Underwent a AAA repair last year. His vitals are remarkable for blood pressure of 150 over 100. His HbA1c is 9.5%. Photograph is of his left foot shows us mixed erythematous and ulcerated changes. And the question asks for the most likely explanation for these findings. So we're just going to go through one by one here. Choice A, defective diapedesis of leukocytes. Wrong answer. Okay, so this is a this is a reasonable answer, but it's wrong. Okay, so uh, this refers to the decreased wound healing and diabetes secondary to non-enzymatic like oscillation of vascular endothelium. So this goes hand in hand with choice B, which is also the wrong answer, diminution of joint sensation. So essentially what happens is in diabetes, you have peripheral neuropathy, right? So glucose enters your myelin sheaths, glucose via aldose reductase converted to sorbitol, sorbitol osmotic pull will cause myelinopathy, peripheral neuropathy, decreased sensation. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> diabetics often can't feel their feet they'll incur uh, trauma. And then because of the non-enzymatic like oscillation of vascular endothelium, they can't heal the areas of trauma as well as they should. So they're prone to gangrene. That's why we get amputations and diabetes. And then the diminu diminution of joint sensation refers to charcoal joints. Uh, this will be the answer on USMLE if they tell you disorganization of the tarsal bones. Okay. So this is from pressure. Uh, we don't think about it. We don't think about it. However, we will shift constantly shift our weight to avoid too much pressure on one area. So because of the impaired joint sensation and diabetes, uh, they're prone to charcoal joints. Okay, so diminution of joint sensation. Um, but nevertheless, A and B are wrong here. I'll explain why. Because this is embolic disease. This is cholesterol emboli. The history of AAA repair in combination with this image is something you need to know for USMLE. The Atherosclerotic plaque of the abdominal aorta can launch off uh, cholesterol crystals to the phalanges, okay, and result in a levito reticularis type appearance or ulcerated changes, erythematous changes of the feet. The cholesterol emboli need not occur intraoperatively. They can merely occur in a patient who has a history of AAA repair. This is what I've seen on the NBME exam, okay? It's, it's this detail about the AAA repair plus this image that makes choice C the best answer. Okay, as I said, A and B aren't bad answers. Uh, we're not getting abnormal joint. Uh, we're not getting abnormal joint sensation resulting in um, disorganization of the tarsal bones. That's why B was wrong. And then the reason A is wrong is because once again we have the AAA repair plus this image, which makes uh, cholesterol emboli more likely as the diagnosis in this specific case. So choice D, hepatocutaneous syndrome, this is the wrong fucking answer. This is actually a trolling answer. Uh, if you Google this, you're actually going to get images of cats and dogs. Okay, as far as I'm aware, this isn't even anything that uh, is in humans. Okay, so choice E, thromboangiitis obliterans, also known as Buerger disease, B-U-E-R-G-E-R, Buerger disease, not to be confused with Berger disease, which is IJ nephropathy, uh, but Buerger disease is going to be males, usually 50 and older, who are heavy smokers who have digital gangrene. Okay, we talked about how diabetes, big risk factor for gangrene. Uh, however, they might give you 50-year-old male, heavy smoker, and he's not a diabetic, and he has either uh, gangrene of his fingers or he can have it of the toes, but that's known as thromboangitis obliterans, okay? And you just do smoking cessation. Look, that's it for this question. Nothing overly crazy or dramatic. Uh, as you know, I've been making more like strategy type clips recently, but I need to mix in these audio Cubank clips as well. I think the, the mix is uh, overall fine to do. Okay, I should just end this fucking clip. So if you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.